All right, this is Mike Fitzgerald and the Fiends at Torricon with characters from the hit video game Street Fighter. I'm here with uh, Ken Masters. Yep. And Chun Li. Chun Li. And you are both characters from the original video game. Original Street Fighter. Now, how many Street Fighter games have there been? Too many to count. Too many to count. I agree. I'm guessing somewhere in the 15 range. I kid you not. <laughs> now, I, I noticed one thing about the numbering on the Street Fighters. There's Street Fighter, there's Street Fighter 2, then there's been multiple editions Street of Fighter. Street Fighter 2 still. World Fighter, Turbo, you name it. So why not just have, instead of Street Fighter 2 Turbo, have just Street Fighter 3? That's a good question, you know, Capcom is weird, I'll tell you that much. Oh yes, definitely. So, tell me about the character of Ken Masters. Well, Ken Masters, he was born into a rich family, and you know, his father didn't want him to be spoiled. He sent him to Japan to train under Goken for 12 years. So he worked with Ryu, who's Goken's adopted son. And after they turned 23, they thought, you know, they're allowed to leave, they could tour the world. Ken decided he wanted to go to America, participate in the American Championships, and won. He's just kind of a flashy guy, likes to show off his moves and whatnot. He wears red because it's kind of flashy and it's the color his enemies are after he beats them. Excellent. So what do you know, what can you share with us about Chun? Well, Chun Li's father is actually the head of the police back where she lives in Hong Kong, and later on she goes to take over and become the chief. Excellent. Because she's got that down really quick, really bad. Excellent. So, did you um, make this costume? That we did not. You know, we were in a rush. We we're thinking, oh man, we need to find a way to get this. We look online. Oh, costumes. I'll oh, just pick our size and whatnot. And we fit the characters. Might as well choose them. Oh, so you both purchased. Party City. Then we modified them to fit. So. What modifications did you need to make for your costume? Well, the back was all Velcro, and I couldn't move without it bursting open. So I had to put a zipper in the back. Oh. As well as sew up the collar, because this was actually a separate piece all by itself for some reason, so just sewed that right on. So why did you choose to portray this character? Well, because every year my brother and I like to enjoy matching characters, so he wanted to do Street Fighters, and Chun-Li's been my favorite and my mother's favorite, so we've went with Chun-Li. Okay, so were your parents playing this game? They've been playing this since they were dating. And my mom would always be Chun-Li and kick my dad's ass as he's playing Dalsim, this rubbery guy. Oh, okay. So this is this is a family thing. Yeah, this family is part of this is part of your your you know your heritage. Is. Yeah. Wow, that's excellent. So why did you choose Ken Masters? Ken Masters? Well, Back then I used to play, and well, I'm always picking all these people. See this guy in red. Red used to be my favorite color, and he's all blonde. You know, he's just got that tough look about him. I'm like, I want to be that guy. I pick him, and I'd always play. The like, granite, I'd lose to her a lot, but I'd always win against other things. I'm thinking, you know, Ken Masters fits me. So I had my hair like his. I started using quotes he uses. Such as? Uh, depends. Give us, give us something in the camera. <sighs> what Guile told him, go home to be family, man. Alright, cool. So does this character suit his personality? A little too well. A little too well. Why is that? Well, they both have a giant ego. Sometimes... <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get him out the door. And does she, her personality fit the Chun Li character? Scarily. Uh, does she kick your ass on a regular basis? Too much. Morning, literally. Cool. And these are the characters you play when you play the game. Every time. Now you said you were here last year as a... I was here last year as Pokemon Trainer Red. Okay. Not Ash, you know, because I think he's kind of a ripoff, so I picked the guy from the originals. You no, know, the guy that's hard to beat in the game, so I picked Red. And she picked my rival. I was Blue, for the gym leader in the Heart Gold Soul Silver Edition, so we were constantly duking it out, battling each other. Excellent. Speaking of which, I'm going to step out of the way. And I want to see, can you give us a Ken Masters move? And then can you show us a Shun Li move? Yes. Ooh. Excellent, excellent. Now, I, I, I've, got to, I've got to ask, do you think there will ever be a good Street Fighter movie? I'm sorry, there hasn't been so far. I don't really think there will be. Yeah, you're, 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 the Van Damme one was particularly embarrassing. Don't get me started. And then, then, how did you feel about the, the, uh, the Chun Li? I actually couldn't find it. So. Oh, that's probably, that's probably a good thing. That's probably a good thing.
So, if anyone out there is actually making interest in making a decent Street Fighter movie, we've got the cast right here. All right. Thank you very much. See you again next episode. Thank you, guys.